Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Sunset Safari, currently from Juma Private Game Reserve. Uh, my name is Ben, and on camera I have got Owen with me. And we have started off with the Talamati Breakaway Pride, who we found walking down the road towards us just as we pulled out of camp very close to us. And they are now uh, sort of looping around on the road that leads to a little pan that is quite close to the back of our camp called Galago Pan, hoping that they're going to go and have a drink of water. We've got the two lionesses and the five sub-adults in tow, everybody just having a bit of a break in the shade. But not a bad way to start the afternoon. She looks like she's a very fluffy neck, this one. But I think it's all just muscle. Of course, these lions have got such big muscles on their front legs, around their shoulders. It's just like a sort of how your house cat will play. It uses its front legs to grab their prey. Uh, same for these lions as well. Very, very strong in the front half of their body. Of course, it is a, a sad day at Wild Earth today. This afternoon's Sunset Drive is going out in memory of our good friend and colleague, uh, Lisa Becker, who whose time was... Well, pretty difficult to know what to say, who was uh, unfortunately uh, passed away recently, which we were very, very sad to hear, of course. Lisa was a, a wonderful character. She lit up Dam Cam, was hugely passionate uh, about the bush and was always a breath of fresh air. So um, whilst we're very sad at her passing, uh, the bush is full of beauty and this is a perfect way to honour her memory. So I think we're just going to sit quietly for a few secs and enjoy this scene in her honour. So we've got an elephant bull here who seems to be marching through the bush. He's absolutely on a mission this afternoon. Look at him making quite a bit of mess here with the, with the sand. Look at that. We just got reports that uh, the breeding herd of elephants seem like they are coming out of the, the valley um, up into the main section uh, and so they might even land up at either Flossie Lodge or Bukela Lodge and I'm presuming this bull has already drunk at Bukela sometime this afternoon. But the way he's been walking this afternoon doesn't surprise me that he's already here because uh, Bukela Lodge is a few kilometers away and he's already made his way down to the, the homestead Chironia track area which is incredible. And definitely an, a very appropriate way to remember our good old friend Lisa Becker who absolutely loved elephants. Rest easy Lisa, we are all thinking about you. There he is, back on the move. Got a very nice view of some of these young elephant males or bulls. Look at these two just greeting each other, smelling each other. And they'll very likely be relatives. Could be brothers, they could be cousins. No, don't kick my car. Don't kick my car. No. Smack him on the bum, Morris. He wants to kick my car. <laughs> They do that, it's old play. I'm not worried that it's gonna, you know, it's just he's gonna make a dent in the panel work, but <laughs> he was ready to kick, eh, Morris? <laughs> These young bulls, they're always, always full of full of play. A nice bigger bull with them as well. Look where Nsumi is lying. Can you believe this? She is lying in this fallen over uh, marula tree, but like in the hole in of this marula tree. Look if you can do it. Look. <laughs> this is so magical. This is amazing. Nsumi, you are such a little character. So it's a young female leopard and uh, she has been hanging around yeah, quite a bit at, uh, of course, uh, around our camp area and she has found a very comfortable spot in this dead 
marula tree. This is amazing. I, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words at the moment. So yes, but she is slowly coming on to about two years old. So, hey, I, I, I can't believe I like how she actually found that spot. And typical of the leopard, a lovely little area, nice little comfy area, and as well, a nice little vantage point for her. And look at that look. That is a Tandi Kuchava look. So, yes, we are still with Sleepy and Sumi. Sleepy and Sumi. Oh, don't put your head down again. Oh, she's waking up. Finally. Can you please get up? <laughs> she looks like, uh, and like a grooming. That's a, that's a good sign. So, Karen, I love your comment as well. You say she's not on a uh, bunk bed, but she's on a trunk bed. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I think that was funny. Uh, I enjoyed that one. I think old Sumi's on a trunk bed, not a bunk bed. And she's just watching, listening, and sleeping. But maybe she gets up for us now. She's thinking about it. Oh, oh, there, there, look. Oh, good old scratch. Yes. Don't, don't break the tree. You know, fall out of there. Don't fall out of the tree. Or don't let the tree come tumbling down. As you can see, stuff is very flimsy. Oh. oh, oh, she broke part of her bed. Why did you break your bed now? That was not clever. Yeah, now your bed is like all broken. Oh. Silly girl. Well, what are you going to do with that piece now? You don't know what to do with that piece. Now you just made it very awkward. Judy, you are so welcome. It has been a fantastic, fantastic sunset safari this afternoon. I think it has been brilliant. Um, we had great sightings all around. And, um, well, you know, it's great to just end off with all into me, this beautiful leopardess, this youngster. Hoping that we will find her again tomorrow morning somewhere here on the open area or maybe at Gauri Dam. I don't think she's going to go too far the way things are looking. So maybe she. Oh, I just heard a male leopard calling. Wow. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us on our sunset safari. And I'm hoping that everybody had a fantastic time just as much as we did. Thank you for the questions, the comments that they have sent through to us. And please make sure that you do join us again tomorrow morning on our Sunrise Safari, hoping that we are going to get some more amazing sighting. From the Wild Earth team, have a wonderful evening. Good night.